Oh, and we got some good stuff to talk about. Oh, man. So not only is there a big UFC event coming up on Saturday, UFC 160 with the big boys. Yes. Your division. My division now. Yes, hey. Mr. Heavyweight over here. <laughs> uh, but last week was this UFC event uh, yeah. in Brazil where Vitor Belfort pulled off one of the craziest KOs I've ever seen. Ever. How crazy was that, Brandon? It was, you know, it was, it was impressive. Like, it was all the buzz between the fighters. I bet. The next, like, the next training session. I think uh, it was Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We were all in there before. before were you all trying to started. copy it? The spinning heel kick? No, no. <laughs> we, we didn't. But what we didn't understand, we were trying to break it down. Like, how did he get so good at spinning kicks so fast that you would be confident enough to throw them in a UFC fight right. against somebody that's as good as his opponent? You yeah. know, like. Luke Rockhold's no, he's not a slouch. Yeah. It was just amazing, man. Like, whoever he was training with or whoever he's been training with since his business fight, he needs to keep that the exact same. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. And that's the thing about Vitor, looking. is Vitor's been around for a long time. Forever. I mean, he's been around since the 90s, <laughs> yeah. and it's weird, it's like he's getting better. Yeah, he and is. That does, you don't see that very often. No, he's getting better. He's getting faster. Which is, what's going on there? Now that's when like, people start to scratch their head a little bit, and they go, well, is there something else happening? You or? know, it could be, it could be not. You know, uh, Vitor, he blew up when he first came onto the sport. He was, right. what, 19? Yeah. Destroying everybody, putting everybody down, and then... And that was all his hands. I mean, he was, he was, he had one of the <laughs> fastest hands ever, ever. and he and was MMA. just knocking fools out left and right, mm -hmm. and then he kind of went through this period of time where he, I don't know if he wasn't training, or... He, um, do you remember he went through a, a part where his sister yeah got like his kidnapped. got kidnapped yeah. and all that stuff yeah. so I think that, that, that was, affected him I think that was it yeah that was the one I think that put him on a different path yeah and then he's been floating ever since then but yeah. I think Vitor has found himself man I think he really has found himself and he knows where he wants to go with this sport and with his career and I think he's really shooting hard for Anderson now do you think that he will get a rematch with Anderson Silva I think he deserves with his last two performances I think he deserves a rematch with Anderson that would be sick I think it would be amazing all, all the guys were talking about it you know if, if anybody could beat Anderson if it was anybody's time right now and this wasn't just me it was like a general consensus at the gym was mm -hmm. Vitor's moment is now. Like, he needs to have that shot. Well, people want to see him fight, too. Yeah, I mean, sure. after coming yeah. off back to back head kick knockouts, mm -hmm. like, you know. Spinning. Like, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> like, I mean, it was, it was amazing. Yeah. Was that, would that be a move you would ever attempt in a fight? Or. No, not unless I was training with his trainers. Got it. And I was doing that for a long time. Yeah. Man, because it's crazy. Just to pull off a of spinning anything, besides a spinning elbow, is nerve wracking, you know? To do a spinning heel kick and land it flush, like now break that down. Movies. Why? Why <laughs> is that such a dangerous move to do in a fight? Uh, in a fight, so you're facing your opponent. Your rear leg has to step forward and become your front leg. Okay. So you're basically facing your opponent in your opposite stance. All this is going to happen within it's a split second, right? half of a second. Yeah. So your rear leg becomes your front leg. You turn your back to your opponent whip your head around and stare at them so that you can see what you're aiming at. Your lead leg that was your rear leg now flies up in the air and you have to land it on the pinpoint spot to make the kick count. Right. You have to do all of that within less than half of a second. So it's it's amazing that somebody would be able to pull that off during an MMA fight with these little gloves, with the slippery ring, with whatever could go wrong. In an MMA, but you could yeah. miss and fall, yeah. and then somebody's on top of you pounding on you. Right, I mean, a million things could go wrong in that split second, right? But he made the highlight. Dang, he made dang. the highlight real estate. Right? Yeah. I mean, it was it was incredible. It was I beautiful. I remember when you told me, Brandon, <clears throat> that you can tell normally by the way they walk into the cage who's going to win. And so I've been doing that, like, ever since, every, nice. you know, UFC, like, I'll watch, like, you know, and Vitor was shot out of a cannon, and I called it before, I'm nice. like, he's going to win based on the way he just came out, yeah. and it was all because you said that. <laughs> so yeah. I'm about. Actually, I'm talk about. But you're right, you're right, like, there was something in Vitor's eye, and I saw it before he even started fighting. Like, That's right when he awesome. got in the cage, I'm like, he is ready to go. Yeah, demeanor is a lot. Awesome. Demeanor, I mean, you can yeah. tell, that, like, a person, not only if they're going to win, but if they're going to lose. Like, you right. can see a guy if he's it's got nice. that really fear or whatever. It's crazy that you can see that now, right? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I look for it every awesome. time that's now. That's so awesome. Yeah. Good. Really interesting. I bet you a lot of people are now, too. That's awesome. I'm glad everybody does. I mean, because you can tell. You really can't tell. Because you can tell if something is off. Yeah. yeah. Or if something's really on. Or if they, you can just tell. And confidence is everything, right? You, you go in there be, and you know yeah. you're going to win. Like, that's, man, and that can get in your opponent's head, too, yeah. right? Sure. Oh my God! This guy's not hurting. He's not backing down. Nope. Yeah. Right. He's in my and, face. And when does that start? Does that start at the weigh-in? Like when you guys do your weigh-in, you do your face-off. Do you ever do anything to kind of get in his head? Or I, I you know, it, it's different for everybody. Yeah. I know uh, some people do get in the other person's face. I don't because I don't want to. I don't want to bring my blood pressure up or. Mm-hmm. Get Rollins up right then and there because I can't slap nobody. Yeah, hit you're nobody. not fighting. I can't do anything right there. You know. Yeah. You could get fined or you could get suspended. So sure. I try to just go to my happy place yeah. during, <laughs> during wins. Yeah. But I don't know. It might be different at heavyweight, man. I'm not going to be hungry or angry. So That's right. Who knows I might be picking on somebody. <laughs> That's right. I don't hey. know. <laughs> and you never know. If somebody says something that you don't like, you exactly. know, they change everything. Exactly. exactly. Uh, well, speaking of the heavyweights, UFC Ooh, 160 wait. is happening on Saturday night, and it is a heavyweight showcase. Your division. For sure. It's going to be interesting. The heavyweight champion, Cain Velasquez, is defending his belt in a rematch against Bigfoot Silva. Mm-hmm. Talk about that. Now, being that this is a rematch, is it harder to beat a guy twice? No, I, you, yes and no. Okay. You know, it depends. Uh, let, let's say Kane beat Bigfoot soundly the first time. No yeah, questions. it was very yeah, it easy. Was, it, he, he did it very easily. If Bigfoot would have uh, won one, then lost one, then looked shaky, and then whatever, mm-hmm. then I would say no, Kane... Can we just walk through Bigfoot again? Right. But Bigfoot had a growing experience as a person and as a fighter in his last meeting with Alistair Overeem. Like you could see the nervous, um, you could see the nervous Bigfoot first round, the exact same Bigfoot that fought Kane first round. <laughs> then second round he changed. Third round he looked like the most confident man in the world, mm. and I think that is what he's going to be carrying over to the fight with Kane. I, I think he believes now that he can beat Kane Velasquez. And I think that's, like you were just talking about, confidence. Mm-hmm. I think he believes now. So now I think it's going to be a different fight. Well, he's come out and said that in the first fight against Kane, he took an elbow where it opened up a pretty big cut. It's the first time he ever saw his own blood. And he yeah. said that freaked him out. Yeah. And he didn't really know how to overcome that you know, situation. For sure. Does that happen in a fight where if you see your own blood, either it will like, take you to that place or will it take you to a place where like you're pissed? And then again, that's that's on either fighter. Yeah. You know, that, that depends on the fighter. And if, if you've never seen it before, it's just like anything. You've never been in a car accident. You've never had somebody scream at you. You've never had... There's a shock factor that happens, sure. you know? I mean, we look invincible on TV, but we're still human. We put our pants on one leg at a time just like everybody else. It's... Mm-hmm. It's it's really up to the fighters. So he might not like blood. Yeah. Like he might have got split open, yeah. freaked out. Oh! Now wait, I'm confused because you're saying he's claiming he's never seen his own blood before like, in a fight I, like that. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I can't take that literally when you say that. Yeah. I'm like thinking like, how can you go your whole life and never see your own That's blood? True. No, if oh. you're in a fight, it's okay. a little bit different. You know, if you get split open by somebody else's elbow, okay. yeah. like you might go, okay, how bad is this? And you start to worry, and it gets in your eye, and all these things happen when you're cut and it's and you what know. you just said is perfect like you get hit and it hurt if it's an elbow it's a good one it's a really good one then you see blood everywhere you're like oh Uh-oh. man how bad oh man and you just start, and you just mentally start you could just break down that. yeah you know? and it's just one thing after another one thing after another it's a domino effect Ugh. yeah so we'll see we'll see what happens there who do you like in that fight um i think kane's gonna pull it off again and his wrestling and his grinding is just it's nobody in the heavyweight division can can be ready for that. Yeah. He's a beast yeah. right now. His yeah. last fight, I was like, yeah. ah! Yeah. <laughs> he looks so good, Well, dude. to beat a Junior Dos Santos the way he did, yeah, it was man. dominating. He and was Junior was running deep. through everybody. For ethic. sure. So. He, he has the work ethic of migratory Mexican workers that come to the States. Like, And mm-hmm. it's, it's hard to explain. Like, Because I have a lot of Mexican friends who come here just to work. Right. They start like 4 a.m. and they don't go home till. 9 p.m. Right. Yeah. And then they go home, take care of the kids, feed them, and sleep maybe two or three hours and get up yeah, and go again. That's yeah. what Kane has, man. Like, he yeah, has he something is. different. That It's different. It yeah. is different. I'm looking forward to, to getting up to that level to be able to face him one day. But he's 
He's on fire right now. Yeah. He, he lost it once. He never wants to lose it again. Right. right. Where he's you at. can tell. Yeah. <laughs> it's in his eyes. Yeah. Like, damn. Yeah, he doesn't want to. I'm he's, excited to see it, though. I'm really excited. Right on. Mm-hmm. Well, and then the co-main event is another uh, heavyweight scrap between Junior Dos Santos and yeah. Mark Hunt. Yeah. Two of the biggest hitters in the heavyweight division. I cannot wait well, for What do you that. think about that one, Brandon? Man, you know, that's... Mark Hunt, Mr. Hunt does have an advantage. He has the leg kicks. But... I don't think he's going to kick with Junior. Because he comes from a kickboxing K1 background. K1 kickboxing yeah. background, yep. Straight kickboxing. And uh, I don't know if he'll I don't know if he'll kick with Junior. I think he'll, it'll become a pride thing and he'll start swinging. Oh my That's going to be a slugfest. Yeah. That's going to be a slugfest for now, sure. Now, would you ever, if you were training with Junior, would you ever recommend it for him to take Mark Hunt down? Because yes. if you're going to beat Hunt... That probably be the because he's got like an anvil for a head like he yeah. doesn't get knocked out. You can hit him with a sledgehammer and he's like whatever. Goes, Ting. Yeah. <laughs> but the way you beat Mark Hunt is you got to take him to the ground. And Junior, we keep hearing all these things like Junior's a black belt in yeah. jiu-jitsu and he's got these great crap. We've never seen it in the octagon. Junior has great ground skills. You know, I've got to train with him. And yeah. Got to see him train. Got to see him roll. He's big, strong guy, man. Right. His, his ground is good. You know, to tilt the the scale in his favor. Got all super Asian in my right now. Bay Boar, <laughs> <Yeah>. sorry. <laughs> National City shout out. Yeah. <laughs> it, to tell the scales in his favor, yeah. um, he should take him down. I think it would change probably to like 80% JDS yeah. if he gets Hunt down to the ground. It doesn't matter if he's on top or bottom, as long as he can keep him on the ground. But, I think but he's got a better You chance. think this might become a pride thing where, you know what, let's see uh, yeah. who, who can slug yeah. it out and who's going to knock each other out? I think so. I wow. think it's going to be fun a for the fans. Thing. I think it will be. Because Mark Hunt, for sure, he's done it before where it's turned into a pride event. Sure. Like, you just, oh, yeah, you want to stand with me? Come on, come on, come on. And I think you've seen Junior just hit people over and over and over again. He really is just trying to knock people out. So. And he's a real technical boxer. Yes. Whereas Mark Hunt. It seems like, you know, he kind of does a lot of winging punches. And, I mean, he's a good fighter, no question about it. But it's a little different styles between these two guys. It is two different styles. And both of them can hurt you really bad. JDS can put you to sleep for a long time. Mm-hmm. And Mark Hunt can break your jaw instantly. Yeah. So, Which he did in his last fight. Exactly. Yeah, against Steven Struve. He <laughs> oh, broke no, I'm his jaw, to too. This. this is going to be a good fight. Who are you liking that one? Uh, oh, man. It depends. Mm-hmm. Honestly, it depends on which fighter. Like, on the walkout, I'll be able to tell you 100%. Yeah. But as of right now, Hunt. Yeah. As of, mm. as of right now, Hunt. Because if Junior stands with him, the hard the hard stand, you know, the hard nose, stand in your face, let's grind it out mm. matches, usually go to Hunt. Yeah, I mean, right. And, I, and yeah. I'd give the power, I would give the power edge to Hunt. Yeah. yeah. You know, slightly, but yeah. still. You know, if, if these two guys just, down. if this turns into a Rocky fight, oh, yeah. it's like, oh, oh. man. But I, as a fan, I hope that happens. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> no, question. no question about it. Yes. So if you want to watch the UFC event, actually, that's kind of a cool place to go check it out. Yeah, for sure. You know, in Ocean Beach, Sunshine, Sunshine Company is the best, and they've got, like, the roof deck, and they have, like, f- over 50 TVs. Oh, nice. Like, big screens. Oh. And they're showing it? They're showing UFC 160 this Saturday night. So if you don't have a place to go watch the fight, go to Sunshine Company, no B for sure. There you go. Mm-hmm. Right on. All right, Brandon. I'm excited about it, man. Thank you, guys. Cannot man. wait to see it. Super and, and yeah, man, come hang out with us at Disneyland. It'll be great. Hey, we'll, we'll yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go right there where they have the Mickey ears. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you the, can't where, miss it. Where Mickey is. Yeah, exactly. Oh, All right. Hey, Brandon and the Truth Hurts is brought to you by Bud Light, as always. We'll see you next week, Brandon. See you next week. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. All right. Uh, Jose Canseco, another guy who thinks he's a fighter. This guy's a goofball. I mean, this I don't know what he's turned into, but he's a joke. But anyway...